OK, but we have a torus 2 that's, um, it's a good torus 2, but it's a little off. Loose tension, the, bl the blade pops out, things like that. So we've got loose tension. Let's, lo let's fix the loose tension. This is going to be real easy with this saw, because um, probably all you have to do is loosen the screws. It'll come right back up. So what you do is you loosen the top two screws, the two motor mount screws again, and you loosen the first three from top to bottom. So you're not pretending. You've got to at least pretend for me. It, and if it, doesn't, if it doesn't loosen, just uh, it doesn't loosen. OK, now with a Taurus II, we get a, some sort of wedge. A D battery is great, a hammer handle, something like that. We put it in the mouth of the saw. This is a term I'm going to use a lot when I'm talking to somebody on the phone. And it describes it pretty um, accurately, the mouth of the saw. That's that area. This is the teeth. There's the mouth. So we put, take this wedge. Let's say this thing's large enough. We shove this thing back, and we start to lift that ring. We start to lift the mouth. We start to open it. So we shove this thing back. We start rotating this drive gear. OK, it was feeling like a 1, like a 2. It was real easy to turn. Now it's starting to feel like a 3, a 4, a 5. This feels good. This feels right. Um, this thing's not flopping around. Everything looks like it's right where it needs to be. Leave the wedge in there. Make sure it doesn't move. Tighten the screws back down. The vast majority of these guys are going to be loosened and tightened, and they'll pop right back to, in the place. I, I, I'm willing to bet that's what happened with most of these guys. No, you cannot. This is mine now. I need this. You guys are ruining it. We don't want to strip. Did, uh, who, who finished? Who did it and finished? Anybody? Did you finish yet? Did it kind of pop back up to where it was? Yeah, these guys will do that. Um, like I said, they're slightly oversized to start. So you'll almost never have loose tension on these saws. You'll only have tight tension. It's either perfect or it's a little tight. So we've already learned how. And it's pretty simple to do. It's pretty simple. And again, if you do it right, if you tighten it down, you don't deal with it ever again. Let's, let's, uh, let's describe loose and tight tension. Um, again, if you think of a, um, a bandsaw, loose tension is a loose floppy blade that sticks out and flops out. Tight tension is when it's really tight and it's going to snap. Completely opposite with the torus. When the tension is too tight, we're describing the belt. We're not describing the blade. When the tension's too tight, it's not grabbing the blade enough because it's making more contact with the raceways than it's supposed to. So the, the blade actually is loose. That's why you'll get slippage. That's why you'll get uh, parts wearing out, but you won't necessarily break this. Loose tension puts more pressure on the blade. What happens is the blade's sticking out so far around this ring that's too small that the belt is squishing it. So it's running like this. It's running like an oval. It's squishing it. You understand that? And so by having loose tension, you have more pressure on the belt, if that makes sense. More pressure on the blade. That's what I said. I said blade. I don't know what you're talking about. I said blade. I said blade. I'm holding a blade. You should know. I, don't, I shouldn't even have to speak. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to edit a lot. Let me give you a screwdriver back. Yeah, you're, we're going to have a, a completely different voice. When I say belt, it'll say blade. Um, but it'll be great, and we'll discount it a little bit because of that. OK, um, other than that, do we feel pretty good? Does everybody feel pretty good? Decent? Actually, we get a free video because we sat through. Free shmi. You know, um, I gave you enough. No, I'm kidding. Um, we'll, we'll conveniently lose our list of who was in the class. And we'll try our best to give them a free video, but we won't be able to contact them. It's going you know, to be horrible. We're going to move on to raceways. Raceway strips, um, big bugaboo. And they're real simple. Another, another thing that people look at, like, oh, crap, you know, I got raceways. Pardon the word crap, but I said crap, sorry. Crap. OK. <laughs> you, get, you get the crappy raceways and the crap. No. OK. You're, you're, uh, these are, this is useless, but it's a great prop. It's already dry. This is silicone that's completely dry. So it's useless to me, but we'll use it anyways. You get a customer come in, and let's say their alignment's off. But their alignment's been off, and they use their saw. They've got no raceway. It's gone. They said, you know, I don't think there was one ever on there, because that's what I get. I never had a raceway. But you find all the strips in there, you know? And it made this metallic noise. And you think, yeah, that was a raceway. No, 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 because I never had one. So no, no. I'm holding the raceways in my hand. And I'm going to show you where they are in the saw. We've got bare metal with two little bends in it. This is the inner raceway. The inner raceway. Now, I'm going to take a sneak peek at this real quick. 21 on your parts list page is raceways with an S, plural. It's raceways because there's two. You can't see it on the picture. It's not a good picture for that. But trust me, there's two raceways. OK, I want to steal back my saw because I'm going to pull apart my saw. 
And I don't want to do that to a, a, a good saw. So let's trade, if you will. And get it. Yeah. As I drop it on people's heads. OK. You get it, inner, inner raceway? Just metal. Then there's the outer raceway. Now this is funny. This is completely different, right? This is, this is a, a C. C. Or you know, it could be anything, actually. It's a C, all right? OK, this is a piece of plastic with the metal already glued on it. Same metal as here. The metal's already glued on it. And there's a, there's a groove in here for it to glue onto. Outer raceway. This is the outer raceway. I'm going to remove this belt. Again, watch, because I do this good. See that? I'll put it back on later, and you'll be amazed. It's great. Man, you know what? When that's all you got, you better be good at it. And I'm good. I am good. I'm not admitting to anything. But you know, let's say, for argument's sake, that's all I got. But I'm good at it, right? Look, I'm five foot seven. What else do I have? Can't play basketball. Taking the blade out. See how easy I did that? Ha! Two things I can do. OK, I took the belt out, or the blade out, because I want you to be able to see. I'm going to remove the outer raceway, hopefully. OK, you know what? <laughs> Watch this. This is the magic. That, don't zoom in on this. <laughs> Voila, OK, it's removed. <laughs> OK, I, I, I forgot that this is a, a display one, and I, I super glued it on so it wouldn't come off. <laughs> So we can use it show after show after show. So voila, it's off. I didn't even. I shouldn't have even. I should have just taken yours apart. Okay. Now I pulled the outer raceway off. I'm gonna replace both raceways. Let's say you gotta take this off to get to the inner one because it's just because it's in the way. And the reason why it's in the way is because that's how this this molding process is. Um, you can't mold in and out uh, the way we do this. So you can only mold back down. If we came back up and had this one piece like the Taurus two. I forget who I was talking to about that. I was talking to you. Um, you can't do it. So you have two separate raceways. You pull this off. Now you've got your inner raceway. And don't zoom on this either. Voila, we've got the inner raceway off. OK, the inner raceway sits on a raceway that's already there. It is essentially this piece, but it's part of the saw. It's part of the saw. Now these guys are already made. When we send them to you, they're already made. Um, you don't have to do anything to them. Um, Nine times out of 10, you don't have to do anything to them. There is some variance, but odds are you won't have to deal with it. Um, so these just have to be put back on. Hey, you just pay attention to the way it came off. Um, these are two bent ends. You slide them on. You, you, you work the raceway on. Now, they're going to be missing or chewed up or, or half of what they were or you know, non-existent. You have to look at it. Yeah, these guys, aren't, these guys are going to wear out. On a, on a perfectly new saw. These guys are going to wear out, and you're not going to have them after a while. But uh, and when everything's good, it's going to be a long, long time. Long time. I've got saws that I don't replace things on just so I can abuse them and see how long they'll last. Most of them still have their raceways. Um, but they will wear out, so you will have to replace them someday. Um, but let, for argument's sake, and, and, and so you can help customers out, you're going to get ones that are ruined. So that's why you're replacing them. So this is off. You've got this customer saw raceway off. You've got a new one in your hand. You're ready so to you know the raceways are one, but you, you're going to replace them because you found metal shards in there. Um, you heard that, that scratching. You heard everything. OK, so you look inside at the plastic, and you make sure the plastic is OK. You make sure the blade hasn't cut into the plastic. So you, you haven't found any, any cuts. You, you caught it in time. So you take your silicone. If you, call, if you call out of the blue and you say, hey, my customer needs raceways, Gemini Saw is going to send you the raceways. We're not going to say, OK, send us $50, and we'll give you the raceways. We're going to send you the raceways. We're going to send you the instructions. We're going to send you the little packet of glue that's not going to be dried up like this. It'll actually be useful. And this is already too much. OK, so you take your, your raceway, which is just like the one you took off, but it's not gnarled, and you squirt a little bit of silicone on it. You don't need a lot. You can put enough on your fingertip and rub it on here. On the ins this is the inside. So you get some on the little bend. I doubt if anybody can see this, but if you can get on a little bit, you wipe it on there, and you put it on. Now, because I'm going to do that. That's the inside one. Yeah, this is the inside one. This is going to be, um, you might want to gather around for this, maybe. 